before, guys. Look at this. A dam, water running smoothly over it. Not too much current. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to another fishing adventure at a brand new place. The ancient and I have been to this lake before, but we've never fished this spot. We've never been this far this, up river. This is cool. This is, this is as far as you can come uh, in a boat like this. This is cool. All right, guys, we are excited. We've got every, we're, we're gonna fish for whatever. We got walleye around here, largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, bluegill, gar. I mean, when you're fishing below a dam like this, anything's possible. <laughs> Striper, hybrid, like literally anything, catfish could be under here. So, folks, I just have a gut feeling I should start off with a deep diving crankbait and this nice and bright fire tiger one. Brand new, never been used. Since the water is so dirty, I'm gonna tie my braid directly to it. Braid is highly visible, but I don't think the fish are gonna notice green braid in this like really green water. And I want heavy line in case I hook into a big old water heifer. I can haul it in, a big striper or something like that. Catfish. All right, first cast of the day. Check my drag. That is always what you need. Ooh, hitting rocks already. Bouncing around down there. You need to make the first cast and then check your drag. That's always the order of operation. Oh, there's a heron right there. That's a good sign. He's fishing. He just flew off. What you guys see him there? When a heron is on the shore, that means there must be some sort of bait fish swimming around in the shallow water because he would not be there if there weren't fish. If they're standing on the shore looking in, at the water. This is cool. Look at all the minnows under this mat. I might have to put on a flipping stick and flip some of these mats here. Like the minnows are congregated under it. I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. All right, got my flipping box here. My flipping box. I think I'll use an ounce and a quarter. There we go, folks, a flipping tube. This is a Dry Creek Outfitters tube, same company that makes the Ace Videos uh, tubes. This is just their flipping version, the big fat one. Try that first. Oh, there's a carp right there. I could just doink him on the head if I wanted to. Got it. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, that's a spotted bass too. Ladies and gentlemen, Guess what? You will never believe this. This, hey, this is my first official flipping fish right here. I, um, in Idaho, flipping and pitching isn't that big of a thing. We just don't have the weed mats and stuff. And I grew up in Idaho, if you guys are new to my channel. I knew about it. I studied it when I was younger. Look, oh look, he's been laying in the mud. Look at the um, dirt. It's like he's been laying in the mud. Anyway, this is my first official flipping and pitching fish with like the tungsten weight and all that. Like I've, I've flipped and pitched around, but not like the official way. I say we keep them in and eat them. Spotted bass are tasty. There's no, no, no size limit. That was fun. And don't get me wrong. It's not like I've never like, th uh, you know, thrown a soft plastic around reeds or whatever. But I actually went out the other day and I was like, I need an official, uh, you know, official flipping box. I'll, I'll do it. There we go, first fish in the box. And I don't mean to lie to you guys, pretend like I've never flipped around wood or anything, but it's just like, when I did it in the past, I just had like, you know, my lead weights and all that, and I would just basically peg a sinker, flip a few casts in some wood, and then go back to, 
to fish in rocks or banks because in Idaho we just don't have that much weed growth, bass hiding in weeds uh, opportunities as in the south. So I thought I'd go out, get myself an official flipping box. Tungsten weights are, weights are insanely expensive. Mr. Brad just gave these tubes to me. We'll have to send a picture of it to him. Well, let me tell you folks, we had high hopes for this dam. Water was flowing over it beautifully. A lot of good current. Cranked it through soft plastics. Thought for sure we'd come up with something. But despite our best efforts, we got zero bites under the dam. Even went over these weed mats and flipped them and still nothing. It's funny because I just switched to a purple tube. Guys, my dad just had one follow his tube and I don't mean to like pouring in on your spot, but I kind of want to. I'm going to throw it right in that he's junk. Six pounder, you know? <laughs> where, where I didn't catch him, he's at least seven. Uh -huh. And then when you pull him in and he's three, it's not the one. Maybe like, that's not that the one. The uh -huh. That was the male. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'd be like, man, you reel it in, you guys. This is a good fish, but man, the one that I had earlier was bigger. It's like a carp right there with his back full on out of the water. It's like he's laying on top of a rock. What in the heck is going on there? I ain't never seen that. He's just like laying straight up. Can't quite tell. His back is just out of the water. Got him. Got something. Oh. What did he spit? Oh, he spit up my, <laughs> my fluke. I thought it was a crawdad or something. A little smally. Yeah, I just need a largemouth now and I'll have the trifecta. So this is a spot we discovered there's some rocks underwater up here. What the? Now that hat, was that a carp? I do not know, but we will cast there. That might have been a carp, guys, so don't get excited. Done? Nice! Me ancient Scotty's first fish. What is it? Long time coming, it's a large one. Oh, oh, or another spot, maybe? We'll see. Kinda looks like a spot. Hard to tell, this dingy water. Oh, come on now. Get on board. Probably should have gotten the deck. Oh yeah, it's another spot. Sweet. Hooked him on the yep. no yep. nose, on the nostril. Right. Cool. That's beautiful. Mm. He's gonna taste good. Mm, <laughs> we have our own now. Yeah. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, like right in the nostril. We even catch a lot of spotted bass upriver. Yeah, he's got that prickly, prickly tongue. Sweet. Pretty fish. Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys watched uh, one of the last couple episodes. Um, we discovered that spotted bass are absolutely delicious. Yes, they are. Sweet. Nice. Yes. Well, there's a lot of bait in here. A lot of bait? I hear frogs. Fish on. Fish on again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll get the net this time. He's, he's smaller. Oh, I mean, he, yeah, you just yeah, pull him in. He's going right for the weeds. Keep moving. You like fish and roll. <laughs> Pulling ish. That's another spot. How do you we, tell them so quickly? We need um, just because they have a different, a slightly like, was it metallic green instead okay. of soft green? Okay. Yeah, that yep. tail is, or that that tongue is just as rough as uh -huh. anything. Rough as we a cob. We could actually keep that one if we wanted to. But yeah. we'll nice pops. I've seen a couple times where the reeds move. Kind of like the velociraptors in Jurassic Park. All of a sudden the reeds are just parting. Huh. What's he angry about? Not happy, He's like, you scared away my fish. Guys, there's a bridge right up here. Bridges are usually good. Wow. This is cool how it opens up back here. Oh, look at all the bird nests. Yeah, mm. look at this back here. That's frog, uh, bill, that's all kinds of territory out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a beaver. There's a beaver right there. Yep, yep. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, see, yeah, the bait fish fleeing. That's my next cast right there. Or your, <laughs> or your cast. Well, we saw tons of activity, bass and bait fish, in the back of this cove. And it was good to have this spot in our back pocket for when we need a place like this, but we just couldn't get any to bite on this day. Wow, we fished that whole thing and did not get a bite. That is crazy with all the bait. I even see balls of bait fish on the graph. Hush my mouth, I just got one. Oh, it was another spot. He was out in the middle. I, I was like, I was talked about balls of uh, bait on the graph. He was probably chasing them. Cause he was way, he was just out in the middle of this stuff. Oh man. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do. We'll, uh, we'll just fish this evening, even though I came prepared to cook on the boat, guys. Um, but I want some, I haven't crawfished in a long time. Take these fish carcasses and we'll use them for crawdads. I think just a simple popper will do. Yeah, before we cast this top water, guys, check out the new Patriotic A shirt in this military color. I love this t-shirt and it uh, fits nice, it's super soft. Check out a link to it in the description as well as my dad, the Mahi shirt just came out uh, that my dad's wearing. First cast with the top water. There we go. Right? Yeah. You got him? Nice. That's the same corner where you had that other one. He's a little fella. Oh, oh, just through. Interesting. I wonder if there's a rock or something down there they're held up on. Did you see him take it? Did you see him take it? <laughs> he, he, that fish blasted it. Let's see if this is a largemouth. Did I get the trifecta? Oh, it's a small, I should have known. A small mouth would smash it that fat, that hard. That was a cool topwater bite there. <laughs> Uh-huh, I thought there's nothing going here. <sighs> cool fish. I'll throw one back in. Let's try to get... I'm still after that largemouth. Just... We have a few casts more, folks, before it gets too dark. Well, that was still fun, exploring yeah, some new cool. spots. Yeah. That was a cool way to end it. If you're down to get crawdads, I'm down to find some crawdads. We'll have to do that next. My friends, Romans, countrymen, boys, girls, bow-legged squirrels, we are under the interstate. It's been like a year since I've been to this spot, but it is a great crawfishing spot. It has the perfect size rocks that you can lift up, but they're big enough for the crawfish to be under. I have the fish in the bag and my collapsible cutting board and I'm gonna flay them up and then we're gonna stick the carcasses underwater and see what comes along to eat them. Should bring out a lot of crawfish. I have here something brand new to use as well. It's a collapsible fishing knife. I have all kinds of collapsible things now. Look, it has different sizes of blades. Uh, I think I'll just need like the medium sized blade. Let's see, it sticks right in, that's the wrong. Somehow, yeah, there you go. It just slides right in, locks, and I've got a fillet knife there. Everything is getting portable and foldable these days. All right, spotted bass. A bunch of pretty birds have come alive here. I think they're smelling the fish. Cut the ribs out. <laughs> I swear I started filleting and the birds broke out into song. <laughs> well, this is hilarious, guys. Just got done filleting, and I mean, just got done. And 
they are jacking up the river. I'm really close to a dam upstream. You can't see it from here, but really close to a dam. And I just checked on like the schedule and they just decided to open up the flood waters. So um, it's, it's gonna come up fast. I can't, I can't do anything here. I'll have to find another spot. my friends we have changed it up me ancient and I have come to this beautiful trout stream one of my favorite streams around here look how clear the water is guys I want to catch some crawfish and there's no better place than this it is a little bit of a drive from the last place we we're at but um a nice fish. the water is where where's uh, just came up he just came with oh yeah yeah i see him making his way across the bottom yeah we have a trout right there guys anyway this is a spot to get some crawdad for this meal so let's uh use the fish carcasses and see what happens so within minutes these minnows started to gather around and take off little chunks I mean, I didn't even have time to put the rock on top to hold it in place before they were just tearing pieces off. And then the first crawdad showed up, probably within less than, than five minutes of it being down there. And then a second one shows up, and the first one's trying to pull it away. You can see he's trying to pull it away from him. Bro, there's plenty of fish for everybody. I want as many guys to gather around as possible. Then a third one shows up. Then a fourth one, you can see in the corner there, is a little timid. He doesn't have a claw on the right-hand side, it looks like, or it's a little tiny claw, so maybe he's not as confident, you know what I'm saying? And then a fifth one shows up, and as more minnows gather and more crawdads go for the same piece for some reason, like there's tons of fish, but they all want to gather on one spot. Uh, there's a little trout there, by the way, and he's like, whoa, there's too much going on here, he swims off. But as more gather, the tensions increase. And this one has the other one by the claw there. He's like, get out. But the other one wants to stay and fight and eat. And this little one wants his piece of the action. And he puts his little claws up. He feels threatened by the minnows, but he doesn't care. He goes in to get his pound of flesh off there. They are feisty. Of all, all sizes of crawdads are feisty. And then this one is a little confused. He went over the GoPro, thought the GoPro was something good to eat. And then I love how he just, just gets in there, just gets after it. And the other ones, you know, you got to be bold in this business. If you're going to get a chunk of fish, if there's a big buffet laying out, you got to be bold. And watch this one here. He's just minding his own business in the corner, and a big one comes along and just bullies him. There are bullies everywhere, folks. They're in humans, animals, they're even underwater. And then check out this little one in the corner. He, he really wants a piece, he can smell it. But man, you're pretty tiny. These are some big craws with some big claws. And he's like, nope, not worth it. I'm just gonna sit under the rock here. And then this one comes in. He's like, out of my way, excuse me. Puts his claws up, that's how you do it, folks. You put your big mitts in the air and just tell everybody you get out of your way. How's it going? Oh, look, there are already crawdads oh my on Lord. my... You, you could probably lower your tube down there and they grab onto the tube. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go for it? <laughs> there are a bunch of them down there. Boy, they're congregating fast. So my dad did decide to go for it with the tube. You can see it floating down there. Crawdads love tubes, especially when they're covered in Dry Creek Outfitters Trophy Bass Gel Scent which is just an amazing scent for fish, but crawfish love it as well. And one of them actually grabs onto it, despite there being the delicious fish, it wanted the tube. My dad pulls it up, pulls it away, and it didn't let go. go you got one, you got Can you bring him up? He's pretty greedy. Probably could swim over to the side. Yeah. I brought him up here on the bridge before. That was with bacon, though. I remember that day. 
Oh, yes! Oh, we got him! <laughs> nice! That's a good eat. Oh wait, it's a female with eggs! No way. Oh, look at that! That is so cool! Oh no, those are little tiny crawdads! Look at that! There's a little, look at the little tiny crawdad trying to get away! Oh my gosh! That is crazy! I don't think I, I've never seen that. Uh -huh. that I, so I've never cool. seen little micro crawdads like that before. Look, look, one's dropped on my finger. Oh yeah! Look at his long tail compared to his body. That wow. is crazy. She's not letting go. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, she's not letting go. There you go. Look at all the babies. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're actually going to let I'm gonna bring her down. Her down. Okay, yeah. sounds wow. good. <laughs> if, if my dad drops her from up here, all the, she'll probably lose all her little craws. <laughs> so after about 30 or 40 minutes, this many had gathered, there were probably about 14 or 15 of them, a dozen or so that were perfect keeping and eating size. So I just waited out there and started to pick them off. And it's great because crawdads are not very bright. Like, you can just grab them and the other ones are unfazed. Like, this giant claws coming down and just disappearing your comrades and you're just like, hmm. Wonder if I can stick this piece of fish intestine in my mouth. Like, that's the mentality of crawfish. Like, they're they're real easy to catch. This is something anybody can do. Like, I highly recommend you guys try it because they're uh, they're really fun, really easy to catch. <laughs> Look at that. They clung to the bait. They pulled the bait off the bottom. Well, maybe that's a sign. Maybe we need to be done or move to a different spot yeah look they're all like what the heck wow my friends even i'm surprised how many crawdads there were just in the first spot um the ancients moving downstream i think i'm gonna move downstream with them and let's find another uh hunting gathering spot so I didn't move it too far downstream because there were obviously so many crawdads in this area. I put it back on the bottom, crumbled it a little bit to get a nice oil slick going, put a rock on top, and walked away again. I think we may have just had some subscribers roll up. Hey! Yeah! I've watched you before! Oh, cool. What's your name? Atticus. Atticus? Oh, that's a cool nice name. Atticus? You. Yeah, I watched a few of your, like, surviving on only what I eat. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. You mind being in a video? I'm actually filming one right now. Nice! So, Atticus, awesome. guys, subscribe. Atticus, I, like I have something I have something for you, dude. That's so cool. When you went to Lake Otago, Oh uh, yeah. hard to fish. Uh-huh. I go there pretty often. Wait, that's, I have two sizes. See okay, if that fits. Then. Oh, see if that fits real quick because I have some different sizes. Yeah, that one good? Sweet. Hey, hey, thank you for watching. Have a good day. <laughs> you too, man. Atticus, that is a cool name. They were just driving by while I was hanging out on the bridge. This second spot was cool because it had trout around it without all the minnows. So I feel like the trout actually got a crack at it. I'm not sure why the minnows weren't in this area or they didn't congregate over to it, but it's pretty cool to watch the fingerling trout and then you see a nice sized trout in the back there. I wish he would have come over, but he didn't. But these little ones feasted on the spotted bass. Watch them right here. Tack a bit, pull a piece or two off, go back, look at that. <laughs> grab the little bits, then a big crawdad comes over. That's the kind you want right there, a big eaten one. But these little fingerling trout were enjoying it as well, and that really surprised me. You can see how far the crawdads would come. They'd smell it, and it sometimes took them a second. I don't know why he's hugging the GoPro there. Took them a second to find it, but they would eventually hone in on it. And then this was funny. Two big ones eating on it. And this little one wants a piece, but he, he's just not very bright. The big one keeps knocking him away. And then he goes at it again and gets knocked away again. He's kind of intimidated. Just like I said, just not very smart. There's a great big piece of bait there. And, and he really had struggled. He, it was a struggle. Look, no. Uh, so finally he goes around and he eventually goes the other side. I didn't care though because he was a little too small to eat. I just wanted these big ones. Oh, this one's soft. 
just molted soft and squishy cool couple more just keep moving down you know gosh I have so many already that was so fast folks I think I have enough crawdads for a bowl I think the goal now is to catch some of the tasty trout that live in this stream let's do it all right my friends hiking up a trail here we got the river right there the ancient um, I'm gonna fish right here um, He's going to go find mushrooms. Good luck. <laughs> He's going to hopefully find some mushrooms. And I want to fish the river. Catch me a big fat trout. A plump, juicy one. A little dangerous, but we are good. <clears throat> Alright guys, armed with a tiny hare's ear tube. Let's get a stream trout. I love this little light rod and four pound test. It just casts like a dream. Is that two butterflies eating some like goose poop? I think it is. That is the <laughs> really I don't know what to think about that. I actually didn't know butterflies did that. I thought butterflies ate flower juice and whatnot. I didn't know they snack on animal dung. <laughs> Got my butterflies over here just chowing down on poo. You know, the normal things you see in nature. It's beautiful around here, guys. I'm gonna try fishing right down in there. Got one. First fish of the day. <laughs> A little micro one. Pretty as all get out though, man. Wow. Little rainbow. Caught him right in the snout on Hare's ear. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, there he goes. Well, that was fast. Or he can stay in the little pond there. Whatever he wants, he'll figure it out. Cool. First fish of the day for me. Okay. So one of the things we're on the lookout for right now is a good stick. This is my good stick for now. It's for when we get deeper, probably off the trail, and I need to poke around and don't want to encounter snakes. I don't know what this is exactly, but I'm thinking that's some kind of bear scat right there. That reminds me of what I've seen in the zoos. I don't know, what do you guys think? Looks like it to me. Keep our eyes open for sure. Ah, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Now those are on wood. So that might look like a chanterelle, but I think that's a jack-o'-lantern. They look real close, but they're on wood. There's one. A couple over here. Yeah, I don't think those are ones we can eat because they're on wood. We'll keep looking. We do have them in the area though. That looks a little like a toadstool there. Man, there's a lot of stuff out here, that's for sure. Take a look underneath here. Hmm. It's got the gills. Yeah. I think we'll let that one pass. 
I see this these trees down up here that might be a good spot to go to so we're gonna kind of pick our way up the hill here oh here we go I think we've got some wild grapes over here this is the kind of thing the bears will come by and grab blueberries or grapes I'm not sure which we'll put those in the bag and might have to see what they taste like guys I think the reason this is all laid down we've had a bear around here uh, that's gonna be my honest guess right here because there's it's just laid down different you see all the all the green and stuff over there and then just right by here and I see deep set like prints although I can't make anything out right here but see there are more of these grape like uh, berries here that I'm guessing uh, we've had a bear through here looking at them and eating them so yeah we'll have to pick up a few ourselves but there's some smash stuff and uh, definitely been something tromping around up here we're gonna go ahead and grab some more of these grape looking things add them to our collection a whole bunch of these they look pretty darn fresh too they're soft we gotta try some we're gonna pick some and uh, see what see if we can find them on the in the mushroom book. Oh, they got those big gills. I don't know about that. They are just all over this tree. Wow, guys, check this mushroom out. How's that for crazy looking? Wow, we'll leave that alone. That, got like a reddish brown hue to it but that is very cool I don't know if that shows up but it looks like bone inside the rock that quartz it looks like a skeleton hand and then down here got a millipede And some turkey of the woods, a little hard. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. The orange red caught my eye. My guess is somebody was up here working on the trail here, somewhat of a rudimentary trail you can see. And uh, I forgot their stuff. Oh, that's a good one. There's a... Oh, yeah, we use these in Idaho a lot. Oh, it's been here a while. <laughs> Covered by a lot of stuff. There's another one. Crazy. If they weren't so darn heavy, I might bring them down the hill with me and find a ranger and give them back to one of them because I guarantee you that's somebody that was working on the, on the trail here. But that's been there probably since either early this spring or last year because it had a lot of leaves around it. This is pretty cool. Wow. Got some kind of little, maybe a geocache or something. Let's take a look. little stool. Somebody either left it up there or meant to leave it for somebody else. Pretty, pretty neat back there. Oh. Wow. There's an old carpet right there. Doesn't go back very far, but it'd be a shelter from rain. It might be joined by other things though. <laughs> So I came up to take a look at this tree. That's pretty cool. Guys, I'm wondering if that's not bat guana there. It's uh, it's dripping out of there. I bet you there are bats up in that tree. We're gonna get out of here because I don't wanna I don't wanna find out. It's a big tree. It's alive at the top, it looks like. 
<laughs> we'll leave that one go. Okay, well, we're headed back. I set the implements, presumably from the forest service, park service, whoever it is, that left them up the hill a ways. But this is crazy. Look here, mushroom. Mushroom. Just not the right kind. I have seen more mushrooms this trip than I've ever seen. We'll just have to see if Asa knows any of the ones that I did pick up are good or not, and see what he's up to. Let's get back. Every time I come here, this place is different. Oh look, somebody left a moss. <laughs> it's still, there's still half of it left. Oh yeah, this looks good. All right, let's surprise some shroud here. I think I'm gonna flip it. right up there. Got him. Oh, another little one. But hey, first cast at the new spot. Wow, this is a tiny, wow, we. There's no way this guy's gonna live. He's too small and he swallowed it somehow. I don't know what we're gonna do with him. Maybe use him as a piece of bait somewhere. I'm gonna just kill him real quick. All right, there, it's, it's over. I'll just add him to the fish bag. Seems like I should do something with the, <laughs> that little guy. Use him as bait, catch a catfish. Probably, that'd probably be the best thing. Let's try her again here. Yeah, I'm gonna cast in the wall. Actually, no, I'm gonna cast behind this rock. I'll work my way up to the waterfall. My friends, I kind of thought I'd come here, slay a bunch of trout, keep a few, and uh, be on my way. But they are skittish. I don't know what to do. They bite, and then just one quick bite usually, and then that's it. Hey, hey, so, what is it? I'm exhausted. <laughs> You're exhausted? What did you even do? Well, look here, I found this. I was oh. hoping we'd see a ranger or somebody. Uh, that was on a trail somebody had been working on. So I huh. packed it out. Not interesting. Um, it's been there, I'm sure, for a year. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. Did you find any mushrooms? Uh -huh. Well, you'll see. You tell me if they're any good. Okay. <laughs> Well, as far as fishing goes, oh I only my. got one tiny trout. It swallowed it. That's the reason why I kept it. Wow. I got one other trout like five or six inches, but I let it go. Okay. Okay, maybe it was four inches, but <laughs> what did you get? Well, this is sad. <laughs> it's funny how we struggled. I did not oh. expect to struggle. I, I didn't either. I, right away, I saw mushrooms. Now, okay. I did see these some of these. These are balls. Yeah. Guys. Are they okay? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, because... I the... think that's not the kind that... So I got some of these. Okay. They were a lot prettier when I picked them. And I don't know whether they're any good or not. There we go. Yeah, I don't think those are. Yeah, those well, there are you called, go. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm, How about see. another puff? Oh, oh, what the? What the heck? Another I... puff ball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about that kind? That looked good, actually. I got a couple See, I think of it's the same as that one, just a little bit different color. No, that's definitely Yeah, the red ones. Okay. I don't think the red ones are. They're called, and we can get the mushroom book out. Well, we could eat them once. <laughs> you can, yeah, every one. That was a famous comment on my channel. Okay, every uh, every mushroom's edible once. <laughs> what the? Him, him what? big smoke signal. <laughs> I did not know they could do oh, that. Man, when we were kids, we I mean we you know, get six eight inches across, and that was that you'd throw them at each other. Uh I didn't realize they keep recharging. Just let them fill up with air, and poof, that's kind of fun. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> He could Probably like smoke them. Uh, he could light them up. Uh, oh, that, that one. That was a good one. Or at least it that one looks like an oyster mushroom. Yeah, and th there were a bunch of them. So I picked them. You know, uh, with white mushrooms, I've heard they're real safe. You don't have to really check them. Oh, like any mushroom that's them. white, you can basically. Now, this one is kind of odd. That was one of the first basically ones. Basically, eat them. I feel how, how solid that is. That's like a. It's like a heavy mushroom. Mm -hmm. huh. You have heavy metals, you got heavy mushrooms, I guess. Here we go. We've got. Yeah, those, those might be oysters. oysters. I okay. think they, uh, we'll, we'll get the book out and check okay. it. Look, here's the, the one thing I did find. So these are what I think are muscadines. And where I found these was a spot where a bear, or, well, I'm thinking it's a bear. It had just a great big area, probably 20 by 40, 
were just kind of laid down compared to the rest of the area around me. You'll see in the video. And um, there were just a few of these left. Huh. They look like grapevine leaves all over the so place. So can people eat them? Yes, they're they're edible. Uh, muscadines are edible. People make jelly out of them. They're not that good, uh, oh. from what I hear, like this. But you can use them for jelly and things like that. So okay. uh, that's how what I understand. If, if there's anybody that uh, out there that knows, I've got a I've got a little bucket of those in here. Aha! Oyster mushrooms. Mmm. Those you know, sure look like oysters to me. Yeah, there there were more too. Next time I'll know to grab all of them. Okay. And I thought if I pick a was it on them, was it on wood? It was on wood. Definitely. Yeah, there you go. They said they grow on wood. Yeah, definitely look like oyster. That's like yeah. Cool. Well, you found some oysters. You found some, found some muscadines, some berries there. Yeah. <laughs> the puffball mushrooms were a source of amusement. <laughs> um, Here's another uh, <laughs> one of those. Gosh, that was a. Th I have not worked that hard to try to get mushrooms. Look at I'm just soaked. You're just soaked with sweat. <laughs> no. Thank you for trying, Bob. <laughs> so, up here, they have a table in the park. It's kind of cool. They've made it. Somebody's taking a lot of time. That is some heavy uh, wood there and big bolts. This ain't going anywhere. It made a great big heavy table nobody's stealing it either you know this is one of those ones you don't have to chain down i think we're going to cook on it it's a perfect spot how's that thank you oh look at that big old daddy long leg mm. Ooh, that scared me i felt the legs something crawling <laughs> Be so calm, with some river water. Guys, we're just cooking the crawdads in uh, river water. Sup, R2. Excellent. Thank you, Pops. Indeed, Dad got water from the river. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everything is organized, laid out here beautifully. Have here a pot with some river water in it for the crawfish boil. And then have some little potatoes for it some mini onions of two varieties lemon my first cast seasoning the best seasoning in the whole world an ear of corn smoked sausage and then the stuff that i'm gonna make of the uh the fish with oh and then the mushrooms that my dad found and then we have here the fish um <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i was going to use that fish as bait but you know what we're gonna eat it because i'm not sure how well it will travel this will probably be the smallest trout we've ever eaten. I never thought I'd be eating a three inch trout. So anyway, let's roll. Yes, please, please. Love sausage. Ladies and gentlemen, sausage is one of my favorite meats. Thank you. Yeah, if I could, uh, you yeah, just like a few, like half of them actually. Then we'll drop the rest in the grotted bowl. So this will make some nice oils to cook on. Sausage is very oily. Alrighty, alright. I love this new jet bowl. It is nice. It was expensive, but it's nice. Look how safe that is. Got flame going. Mm. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna add the salt right now. Always add plenty of salt to your water. For any kind of crawfish bowl. Mm -hmm. I love sausage. Ooh, that is looking good, Pop. Huh? Some fish and sausage juice. Don't get much <laughs> better. <laughs> Except that the smoke gets in my lungs. Oh yes. Wow, that looks great. We're getting there. I love all the mini stuff. That's fun. That is fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I was about to use this lime pepper seasoning but i'm saving it i'm going to save it for something a plan has come to mind i'm using the a typical like cajun blackened seasoning get these uh get these fillets nice and blackened i'm going to save that for something special coming soon yes coming soon you got it you got mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i thought a bed of white rice for the fish it would be fun. Is it three? Nice. Isn't that nice? That is cool. Thank you. I love it. Thank you, Bob. Preparing everything. 
I think we, I think we're just gonna drop, you know, like the, the potatoes in first, and then, uh, yeah, just in order of, of cook, fa how fast it's gonna cook. Huge shout out to my mom for teaching me how to cook rice just this morning. I did, never knew how to cook rice, folks. I always made the instant stuff, and I thought this is ridiculous. I need to learn how to make rice. I don't know what the big deal was. It took like in 20 minutes. I learned how to make rice. Always made the instant stuff, pre-made stuff. So, I have added a new skill. I'm, I'm working my way up, I'm working my way up. This spotted bass just falls apart, it's lovely. This filet, it wants to just crumble. That is <coughs> wonderful. <laughs> pour the juices over top, the sausage juices. Good grief, somebody's been eating a bunch of these. You know what? If they don't get soggy, I'm gonna wait just a minute. Ooh, what about bowling? We're gonna add a few things, Pops, if I could get some. Uh, thank you, I appreciate it. It's nice having a sushi. I do this for your mom, buddy. You do. You guys cook the meals. He lets me think I'm doing something important. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's probably good. I don't want to over lemon this thing. And then, my first cash seasoning. It's a great seasoning on fish, but it's also a great crawfish bowl agent. Well, Y'all just stick them, there's still some oil in there. Woo! You drop those potatoes in. Yeah. Sweet. That's hot. Appreciate it. Boy, this is turning into a feast. This would be fun to try oyster mushrooms. I don't think I've ever tried oyster mushrooms fresh from the forest. We're just going to have it on low and all I'm going to do is add just a little bit of salt because we don't want to, we just want to taste the true flavor of them. Not add any crazy seasoning. Keep expanding our yes. palate or whatever we'll come this a bit. Uh, leveling up our mushroom skills. <laughs> yeah, now that I know these are good, like I say, well you'll, you'll see it, but there were, there were quite a few on the tree limb. I just thought, yeah, I'm going to pick them all and then I'll bring them back and they won't be any good. So. Uh -huh. No, that's part of the learning process. Yeah. I remember uh, what well, Aaron and I last year, we walked a whole past several old man's beard and they're perfectly good mushrooms, but we didn't know that what they were. So learning curve to it. Uh, so while we're at it, we might as well put the tr micro trout on there oh, with the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. I see some, some oil, he could be in some, he'd be. <laughs> How about right there in that corner? Th oh yeah, that, oh no, there, that's even better. There you go. Oh yeah. Mm. Flip him over there. There, now he's bathing in oil. Should we add any seasoning to him? Gotta like him just a skosh. Just a this is the smallest trout. I never thought I'd eat a fish this big. <laughs> there we go. Just dust him slightly. Adding some onion. You want the sausage? In yes, there? sir. There we go. Woo. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. Sweet. Very nice. Very nice. I'm gonna flip the trout. <laughs> 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 well, do you want to do the honors of adding the picnics to the top of the fish, and we'll try that while the stuff is bowling up? That sounds great. I thought that would just be a fun thing, guys, to uh, add some of these to give the fish a little crisp. People do that with other dishes, so. There we go. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, his head just. His head came off. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, dude. We, we want to make sure we get that cheek meat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we let him go just another minute. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys, we're going to sample some spotted bass. Ooh, this looks good. Yes. Yeah, would you like to pray for us? Father in heaven, again, thank you so much for a great day together in the water, in the wild. I just ask that you bless this food to our bodies now, and thank you for providing it so richly for us. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. We'll give the old spotted bass sample, and then we'll try the the oyster mushrooms there we go with crispies on top yeah i'll have to get me Cheers. a couple of there i'm gonna load up with crispies here i'm hungry <laughs> spotted bass is good yeah spotted bass guys out of all the the bass large mouth small mouth spotted spotted bass are the the mm. supreme leaders. Mm -hmm. I could use a little salt. Mm. I'm having a salty day. For the, you can do it over the whole thing. For the oh, first right? time ever, I've undersalted something. <laughs> I think we need to try these. Oh, the mushrooms, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 
Now this is going to be fun. Cheers. Cheers. They don't taste like oysters. <laughs> They're good. They're really good. Not, not, dang it, I might have to go back up the hill there and find where I left them. Mm. Mm. Wow, those are you like really them too, good. Though, huh? mm. <laughs> those are really tasty morsels. Yo, that'll be good with the fish. Mm -hmm. Now mm. you're talking. Mm. Get a little one. Mm -hmm. Grab a little Man. piece of fish. Wow. Fish and mushrooms together. Ooh, no. yes. Wow, that is a nice compliment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, folks, that that's wow. really good to get a little oyster mushroom, a little bite of fish. Oh yeah. Black Some and rice. fish, rice, and mm. that is a good bite right there. Oh man. I wish I had a bunch of them. Mm. Well, well, we'll know next time. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've added a new mushroom to mm -hmm. our um, repertoire, assuming, mm -hmm. assuming these don't kill us. Like, we're totally mistaken. What? You can have the last one since you found them. Oh, oh or man. trout. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shoot. Is he okay? What's the damage? Let's take it. Yeah, you want to... Oh, he's not oh, burning. No, oh. Wait a minute. What about his head? <laughs> his ring over his head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> head down. Gotta get that cheek meat out of there. You just bite it. I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> I know, it's just like eyeballs and little a little tiny brain and it's hot it's a hot head. I pulled his gills out, so you pulled his gills out? I did. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, that You are disgusting. I cannot believe it. <laughs> that wasn't good. Gross. That wasn't <laughs> that yeah, there's good. a lot of like little bones there. Oh my word. That was that. Yeah, no, that I don't it's recommend that. Skull folks. for heaven's sake! Well, I, I thought that like it there. was so tiny. I didn't know it. Would. I'll bet this thing was born this year. He's fully wild. Cheers. Probably born in the stream. Yeah. Yeah. That's. There you go. There you go. Tastes a little bit like sausage. <laughs> he does taste like sausage. <laughs> Mysteriously tastes like sausage for some reason. He, in fact, he tastes like sausage more than he tastes like trout. Go figure, huh? All right, All right time to add the crawfish. Everything's boiling up nicely. Mmm, good size ones First too. One. Just drop them right Ooh. in there, guys. There's a bass in here. Uh, don't no, ask. don't ask. It's a long story. Really long story. We just mysteriously have a bass in our cooler <laughs> with all the crawdads. We did not catch him here. I got a soft one. That kind of pinky one there is soft. I forgot. I was supposed. I was about to. I was supposed to count how many went in, but I didn't. Voila. Now we will wait. See, I'm gonna try to finish this trout. No. Mmm. Mm, He's so sausage. delicious. He does taste like basically sausage. This is really good. That spotted bass is spot on. <clears throat> A little tiny trout carcass weight, one bite there. There. Little tiny trout carcass. Hopefully, we don't attract any bears doing that. You go. Oh Sweet. Yeah, if you just want to drop everything on that frying pan, then we'll eat straight out of the frying pan. Oh my. Look at that split in the back Whoa, there. Love the bright red Oops. craws. Man. Alright, I got our muscadines for dessert. Sweet. We had to let this cool for a minute, there guys. They look like blueberries, don't they? They do. In fact, I thought you found blueberries. I didn't even know that <laughs> those were around here. Yeah. Pop one or two of these in Pop there. one in. You're sure these are muscadines? I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oh. Uh -huh. Mine's hard as a rock. Mine's hard as a rock. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hmm. Try a different one. Look for a soft one. Well, the bears were eating, but maybe it feels like there's just like a seed and like it's yeah. a soft outside. It, it, maybe that's how they are. Look. There's like a seed in the big, it's mostly seed. That's weird. I don't know what the big deal is about them. Hmm. Gotta cleanse the old palate. Yeah, if you don't <laughs> I gotta cleanse my palate too. All right. uh, the final feast. Did we cook the potatoes correctly? Look, go. I love See? mini potatoes. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, hot. Everything's so hot. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Oh, yeah. Perfection. Perfection. Um, 
Yeah, you know, it really could use some more over the top. Mm-hmm. I didn't put as much as I usually do. Do we do it in like the, individually or just over you the can, whole thing? I mean, if, if, you're, if you're down. Yeah, I'm down. Let's try it here. Yeah, I want a little on that tater. Mm-hmm. Sure. Thank you. There you go. You bet. First cast seasoning, best seasoning in the world. Mm-hmm. That's two people that have said it now. Onions. Mm-hmm. Man. Onions, top drawer, guys. <clears throat> this is what you... This, these are the basics of... A crawfish boil, mm. onions, potatoes, corn, sausage. sausage. Because you need some extra protein. Oh, that sausage in the mm-hmm. crab boil itself. I almost mm. like that better than the fried sausage. Yeah, yeah that's mm. that absorbed a real nice amount of flavor. Mm-hmm. And finally, mm-hmm. the crawfish. All right. Let me go grab. Where's the biggest one? I think I got it. You got it. <laughs> Mountain crawfish, super clean. No need to purge them. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. A little bit of lemon flavor in there. That was that was a hard, hard shell dude. Oh yeah. Little bites, little nuggets of goodness. Mm-hmm. That corner's done well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Done to mm. dare I say mm-hmm. perfection. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen. Wow. A hugely successful catch and cook mm-hmm. in the books. Don't forget to check out my dad's channel. Link in the description. He eats food as well. <laughs> it's a little different. It's a little different. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.